basically I heard the voice of God or the creator or whatever you want to call it. Hello, this is Sarita, and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. So I wanted to get online and share an experience that I had just before Christmas. And basically, I heard the voice of God or the creator or whatever you want to call it. And it actually happened during a meditation experience that I was holding with my Patreon group. And we meditate live together once a week. And if you'd like to join us, please do. The details are in the description box. And I find these meetings exponentially powerful. And this really was um, shown to me in this experience that I had. And I wanted to share it with you because the message was very profound. And it's not a message that I have not received before. <laughs> but this time I heard the message um, through the voice of God. And it was very clear to me that it was the voice of God or the voice of the creator. Perhaps God is too much of a or has too much religious connotation to be helpful to many people these days. But anyway, I wanted to share the message with you. So basically, um, I can't even remember. Oh, yes, I know what we were doing in the meditation. We were um, bringing light into all of the dark spaces within our bodies um, and our biofields. And there was a point in the meditation where we were literally for about 10 minutes breathing light into this shadow aspect or the darkness within us. And this is when the experience happened to me. And quite often when I'm teaching, I also go very deeply into the meditations. Um, I'm very lucky. I have an ability to be able to hold space energetically um, within this dimension and within higher dimensions. That's why I do the work I do. So Anyway, I wasn't just teaching. I really went into the meditation. And obviously, we'd gone into this, the shadow, the shadow parts of us, the darkness within us that we hadn't looked at before. We were starting to breathe light into those parts. And we were doing it to music. And, and it was about three quarters of the way in. We were about eight minutes into this breathing. And um, I sent, if you like, a prayer to the creator. Now, to give you a bit of backstory, what's happened is, without naming names, there's somebody in my life who I've been watching suffer quite a lot. And I've been trying to help this person who's close to me as much as I can. And I think well, what I realized during the meditation in the dark aspects of me was I was trying to control their process because obviously I care about them and it's awful seeing anybody you care about suffer and you just want them to be happy and you try and help them as much as you can. And I was feeling really stuck about this uh, because the suffering was, if you like, continuing. And so I was doing this breath and I suddenly just sent this, if you like, this prayer, this wish to the creator, because I just felt completely hopeless, like I couldn't do anything anymore to help. And, you know, and, and the prayer was something like, please, please, please help this person. Um, you know, just just make them happy. And I immediately heard the voice of God and it was a male voice. And obviously my perception uh, will be affecting or if you like distorting the quality of what the creator's voice is like. But I've always felt that the creator in a way was masculine. To me, there feels like a great grandfather of all creation that is holding or encapsulating the cosmic womb of all creation from which all potentiality is birthed. So there are these two aspects that I feel. So for me, the creator is a very masculine holding container like um, energy. Anyway, I immediately heard this voice and the voice said, Sarita, I am helping him. And 
it, it was loud and clear, this voice in my head. And I suddenly, it wasn't just what the voice said, but I suddenly had a massive clarity, you know, like a huge light bulb moment that everything that had happened to this person was indeed there to assist this person on, on their soul journey so that they could find the truth of who they are and come into the deepest happiness about who they are and themselves on this infinite journey. So not just this lifetime, back to source consciousness. And I could suddenly see that I was trying to control the whole thing and that I didn't have all of the answers and that the picture was much bigger than I could possibly conceive. And if I could just relax and let the divine the creator assist the process which the creator is always doing then i would assist in the process by just knowing that it was all going to be fine and i had all of this information and revelation all at the same time as i heard the voice of god and so i wanted to share this message with you because i feel that what happens to many of us is that we go through suffering or we see other people going through suffering. And from our small, individuated, you know, petty little lives, which are stuck in separation on this planet, if you like, separation, uh, polarity energy, we don't see the bigger picture. It's very hard to see the bigger picture unless you have managed to enter the void, which is, I guess, where I was during this meditation. I'd really gone into higher dimensionality, you know, and, and sent my call, my, my deepest desire out. And, and, and it just, it makes me feel so emotional when I remember this. And this will be one of those points that I never forget, one of these moments I never forget my whole life. This is a peak experience moment. And I've had other ones. I have had the, I have heard the voice of Jesus like twice, I have heard the voice of um, Mary, um, mother, once. Um, and I've had some other peak experiences. I could probably count all of them on two hands, you know, then that crossed my whole life, basically. So this was a peak experience moment. And it happened because I went into the void and because I just asked for help. And the point is, is that the help is always there. The growth is always there. The divine enormous picture is always there that we can't perceive from our tiny little uh, rooted in separation <laughs> perspective. So I wanted to share this message with you because if you are suffering, if those around you are suffering, and our whole planet is in turmoil at the moment, you know, it's, it's pretty hardcore sometimes, to remember that surrender is, is a huge part of this process and trust is a huge part of this process trusting the divine and often my lesson is to come back to trust because I am controlling because I know that I'm a manifesting creator so I, I know I can create and manifest whatever I want so I'm often doing those things I'm practicing my creatorship but I guess that what happens is, is I start to control things because I can't see the bigger picture and because I'm not trusting the divine. So I'm little me is trying to control all of the all of the aspects in this narrative um, that is playing out that I'm creating. And actually, if I was to just surrender this this beautiful, so unbelievably loving energy which always has our best interests and our backs it is there for us and it is all working out and when I look back on my life all of the suffering that I've had all the hardest challenges th the toughest stuff is the stuff that made me the most who I was the most sovereign that I could be the most loving that I could be you know it broke my heart open again and again so that I could love more and more so that I could feel more and more and so that I could become more and more myself and find my way back to the truth of who I am, which is creator consciousness. So I just wanted to share this message with you. It was so beautiful. And amazingly as well, 
I received an email from somebody else who had been in that meditation and she had not the same experience as me, but she had a very similar experience to me at almost the same moment in the meditation that I did. So then I replied to her and I was like, oh, I had a really similar thing happen to me. And so it's extraordinary what happens when you can meditate or come together with others uh, from a loving heart space with the intention to grow your soul and to find yourself and to, to let go of separation and step into the void and into oneness and all of those good things. So I really just wanted to share that with you. And if you are struggling at the moment or facing challenges, remember there is always help out there, even if you can't understand it and you can't see it and you can't feel it, it is still there because this beautiful masculine energy that holds all of creation that even holds the womb of all creation is is holding the whole thing and is holding you and you are so loved thank you for listening